Hi, my name is Kare Mugo and I work for the Mawazo Institute, which is based in Nairobi, Kenya. I am part of the team that leads the Nairobi Ideas Project, which is our public engagement program based out of Nairobi, Kenya. I was probably crawling around the floor somewhere or making a big mess full of tears somewhere else. Um, I was a toddler then, so I don't have much memory of where I was when the Berlin Wall fell. I wanted to be an air hostess, and then um, I was told to dream bigger, and so I decided I wanted to become a pilot. And then I was told to dream smaller because I was a woman. And so I settled on becoming an economist in high school. Um, I did study economics and right now I am doing nothing to do with any of those things. Our project breaks science communication walls across the African continent with a focus on the East African region where we are based out of. The Nairobi Ideas project is a platform that uses creative storytelling, digital and multimedia tools to create content that is easily digestible and very easy to engage in for a variety of audiences who are interested in science that is taking place in the continent or people who are curious about science that is being done by Africans. So the challenge that our project addresses is a lack of public engagement with science across the African continent, which means that policymakers, civic leaders, ordinary people like myself and other people in the public are not able to use what is vital and relevant research in making decisions um, either in their personal lives or I guess across the community level and across the national level. So our solution is to find interesting and innovative ways to make sure that this research that has been produced in African institutions of higher education makes its way out into the public. That means holding all types of events that are interesting and informal and that encourage people to start thinking of science as cool. That includes using multimedia tools such as podcasting and digest. The other problem that we are facing is that there is a dire lack of female experts when we look across the globe. When we look at dominant voices across many issues and many sectors, we tend to see only men. And so what Mawazo Institute and the Nairobi Ideas Project tries to do is elevate the voices of women as experts on the African continent. Women make up half of the population across the continent, and we want to make sure that their voices are not only heard, but also that their research and that their findings are made useful across all decision making and all spheres of influence, where where, um, there is a stake for women and girls. The reason we started the Nairobi Ideas platform is because we felt that there was a lack of interesting ways for people to find science here. Um, a lot of what we were seeing is very traditional. It was exhibition booths, um, it was science fairs, and we felt that science was cool and we needed to basically rebrand what science looked like. Um, that means including more women in our science, um, and that also means talking about science in different ways. So taking it out of the serious space and putting it in spaces that people feel they can walk into and not feel intimidated. Uh, what surprised us the most has been the reaction to our project. We go to, you know, popular bars and host events where we invite former permanent secretaries to come talk to us about, you know, the things they're passionate about. People who work at the UN on sustainable development, the very senior level. We invite comedians who are physicists. And, and I think every single time we do one of these events or host a podcast episode that features a really interesting researcher who is working on conservation in Laikipia, which is something that many people care about. The reaction we get from our audience is probably the best part and the most surprising part of this whole entire process. I think one of the big questions that we have the Nairobi Ideas platform is how do we expand it outside of Nairobi? Um, we want to make sure that people who are not in mega cities also have a chance to learn more about 
science and, and find ways to engage with the centers of academia and the experts that are within their communities. So we want to make sure that there's not the rural-urban divide that we see so often when it comes to initiatives like this. So that's a big question. How do we take ourselves outside of Nairobi? How do we take ourselves outside of Kenya? Right now, like many people who are going through this COVID moment, this pandemic, I think what keeps me up at night is how we can sustain what is very much a project that relies on equal parts in-person activities and digital um, tools. How do we maintain the essence of in-person activities when we're not able to be in person? How do we encourage the same level of engagement that we see at documentaries that we host? How do we encourage experts to want to come to share with us and how do we encourage people to want to show up at our platforms in this moment? I think that's what keeps me up at night right now.